When making games in Unity, very often we need to persist some data in between scenes. For example, in my test project, I need to persist the score of our player so that I can show it in the end scene. Hi, I'm Peter and welcome to Sunny Valley Studio Tutorials. There are many ways to persist data in Unity and especially between scenes and one of those uh, mostly suggested is player prefs that can store string float and integer values into user platform registry. This is a simplest solution so let me show you how it works. I have a public class score system that has string score key called score. Now this key will be assigned to the value that I want to store and I have a public int current score property which I will assign the score to. And I can uh, call private void awake. In the awake I can read current score equals player prefs dot get int which gets us an integer through a key. If you pass a key score, if it doesn't exist it will return default value for the integer so zero. If it exists it reads the score so the benefit is that player prefs can store data in between game sessions not only in between scenes and to set the score i have a public void set score i pass in score to it and i call player prefs set int score key and i assign score to it just to show you how it would be used i have in one script the reference to my ui so tmp text reference and in score and score system score system reference now in the start I get the score system using find object of type, I assign to my int score value the score system current score and I store the score inside my script here and I set the UI text to be score plus the empty string. Now whenever I want to add to the score I call score plus equals 100 and next I set score text so the UI to be the score and when I want to save my score I simply call at the end score system dot set score and I assign the current score value to be saved in my database or on my hard drive. While this solution seems perfect there are some downsides. It is not very reliable when we have a WebGL build. I certainly had a lot of issues with this. But also when we are persisting data between game sessions, this can lead to some problems like you are reading the old score into your game because you forgot to reset it. So usually in our main menu scene we need to have something like reset game values uh, class that will find the object that we want to reset and set the score to be zero be before we start the new game session. Another problem with this solution is that the scorekeeper needs to be accessible for all your scenes. In my case I am adding additively a new scene to my game general scene and it will get the reference to the scorekeeper that is placed in my general scene and when I start the game again the level 1 accesses the scorekeeper. So I believe there is a much better way to this and I would suggest that we use scriptable objects instead. So what we can do is create a new folder in our scripts, let's call it uh, so data. And what we can do is open it up, create a new c script, let's call it float so, and let's open this script up. What we can do here is delete everything inside this class, and instead of mono behavior, we can type scriptable object. Now, this will be a scriptable object, and to create it from our create menu inside our inspector, we need to create create asset menu. Now in this class what I want to type is prop full, in, if you are using Visual Studio you can double tap on it, click tab twice and you should be able to create this property with a backing field private uh, int my var. What we need to do is change this to be a float value and we are going to change the property also to be a float value. I will call my value underscore value and I will call the property value. And this way we can set the value inside our float scriptable object as well as from other scripts that reference the scriptable object. Now to show this value in the inspector to serialize it I will call add here serialized field. And now I will be able to preview the score value from the level of my scriptable object reference. Now let's save this, let's go back to Unity. Now if we go back to Unity what we can do is right click create a float SO value, let's call it score. So. Now we can set the value here, but the most important thing is that it exists inside our project as an asset and uh, Unity can load it into the memory of our game whenever we have a reference to a scriptable object in our scene. 
So now we do not need this general scorekeeper uh, object inside our scene. What we can do is open the scripts that will use this. So in my case, this is an enemy spawner script. And instead of having the reference to my score system, I can create a reference to my private float SO value score SO. Now, I do not need to get the reference to my score system because I can assign this through the inspector. And now we also do not need to have the score in value in our enemy spawner or any class that uses the score because now I can use score text so the UI.text call and set it to be score SO.value. The same way we can slide it down to find when I am adding to the score and I can add to the score saved in my scriptable object and again update the UI with this value. And now this will be persisted across a multiple scenes as long as of course the scriptable object is in the memory of my project so I do not need to explicitly call set score and save it in my uh, game when I want to exit to another scene. So now all I need to do is go back to my game view, I need to open my scene where I have the reference to my enemy spawner that takes into account uh, that we want to save the data inside our float value, here it is the enemy spawner script, and I need to assign here score float, I need to select my uh, score SO uh, reference. Now again, as I have mentioned, this uh, score SO scriptable object will be loaded into the memory of Unity. But when we move from level 1 to level 2, it can be unloaded unless we have a reference to it in this scene as well. So we need to ensure that our uh, scenes that uses this needs to have an object referencing the score SO, otherwise we are going to lose the data saved in it. So now last scene, my end screen scene, needs to have the end result and you can see we do not have the reference here, so I need to open the script and instead of finding the object score system, I need to create a serialized field private, again, uh, this was float SO score, SO, and I can get the reference to it from the uh, project and I can assign score SO dot value to show my score at the end uh, uh, in my game so again now i can assign my score so to this and now if i start my game again let me save this we are going to see that we are going to have the score uh, set to be zero and i can update it by killing enemies and if i go to the next scene we are going to see that the score is persisted as well as we can select our i think scripts so data score so and i can see the value preview it from the level of our scriptable object and the great thing about it is that if i want to decouple my enemy spawner so the, uh, my enemy spawner shouldn't have the reference to my ui element to update the score text we can assign our score so score so value to a separate class that will update our ui now this solution was taken from Unity Talk from 2017, I will post the link to it in the description. Now one more issue that we need to address is that while our uh, garbage collector may unload the scriptable object from the memory of our game, we may want to do it manually just to ensure that our reset game values will reset our score. So again, all we need to do is instead of finding the object, we are going to create serialized field private reference to our a scriptable object so this was float so score so and what we can do is set the score so dot value to be zero when we want to start our game and reset the game values while the one drawback of the using scriptable object solution is that we are not saving the score onto the hard drive we can of course use the player prefs to do that but right now what we have achieved is the decoupled code so our classes don't have to know about each other all they need to know is that there is scriptable object in our project and there is no need for a manager class like a scorekeeper that is persisted across all the scenes so that they can access it. We can access the scriptable object and assign it from the level of the project window. We would not have to have the scorekeeper inside our scenes. Now if you want to learn more about making 2D games in Unity and to improve your coding skills check out my video courses. The link will be in the description of this video. See you in the next tutorial.